Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A32 S 5G against the Vivo S60 Pro and guys and the Vivo X60 Pro is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor with a 12 GB of RAM while on the Samsung A32 S 5G we have a Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset with 8 GB of RAM we also have an extended RAM feature on the A32 S 5G on the back we have a quad cameras on the Samsung while on the Vivo we have a triple cameras on the back. We have a 48 megapixel main camera, which also has a gimbal optical image stabilization. Also, we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 13 megapixel 2x optical zoom. While on the Samsung, we have a 64 megapixel main camera, which also has a optical image stabilization. Also, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. On the front, we have 32 megapixel selfie camera on both phones. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much the difference between a A32 S 5G versus the Vivo X60 Pro in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. Although the back it is made up of glass on the Vivo X60 Pro as compared to plastic on the Samsung. Also, we have a Golden Gorilla Glass version 6 on the back as well as on the front on the Vivo. While on the Samsung, we have a Golden Gorilla Glass version 5 on the front. So now let's see the boot up test. Here we go. And the logo is here more faster on the Samsung. Also, we have Android 11 on both phones. We have Samsung One UI version 3.1, while on the Vivo X60 Pro, we have Fun Touch OS version 11, I believe. And the Vivo X60 Pro more faster when it comes to booting up. And you can see while the A32 S 5G is take a lot of time and you can see now the A32 S 5G it is also done and you can see about 4 or 5 second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up both phones has a really beautiful display we have a 6.5 inch full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Vivo X60 Pro we also have 6.5 inch full HD AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and the difference is that we have a flat Super AMOLED display on the Samsung while on the Vivo we have a curved display which is not really aggressive but it feels more premium as compared to the Samsung A32s and the bottom chain it is more smaller on the Vivo X60 Pro as compared to the Samsung also the Vivo X60 Pro it is a little bit more expensive phone everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones and the first application we have is the phone dialer that is a little bit more faster on the Samsung if I'm not wrong. So next on the list is the settings. Let's see who is going to be the fastest fun launching at the same time. Exactly the same on both phones. Now let's go to the display and you can see we have 120 Hertz refresh rate on both phones and you can see we have a flat display on the Samsung while on the Vivo we have curved display. Now let's check out some more application like Amazon shopping on both phones. Launching at the same time, again we have Snapdragon 870 versus a Snapdragon 778G5G. Obviously more faster on the Vivo X60 Pro because we have a better chipset. But not a huge difference. Now let's see the scrolling and that is fees exactly the same on both phones because we have 120Hz refresh rate. Now let's check out some games application with the Candy Crush Saga. Again, the Vivo X60 Pro faster there as compared to the Samsung a 32 s 5 Also, we have a single speaker on the Vivo S60 Pro as compared to dual speakers on the Samsung. And that's really disappointing on the Vivo X60 Pro. Instagram, that is faster on the Vivo a little bit. Let's see pin out. Again, more faster on the Vivo S60 Pro as compared to the Samsung. So you can see that and the Snapdragon 870 is performed more faster as compared to the Snapdragon 778G. Let's see Snapchat faster again on the Vivo. Let's see Spotify and the Spotify faster on the Samsung. Let's see Subway Surfer and the Subway Surfer faster on the Vivo S60 Pro, which is obvious because we have Snapdragon 870 versus a Snapdragon 778G 5G. Now let's temper and two on both phones and that is should be more faster on the Vivo. Let's see. And you can see and the Vivo S60 Pro faster there and you can see and the Snapdragon 870 it is a more powerful chipset. Now let's opening up the router and that is faster exactly the same on both phones. Now let's quickly launch the PUBG mobile on both phones. Also we don't have any game mode enabled on both phones so let's see Vivo S60 Pro faster there and you can see which faster there 
while the A32 S5 Gs take a lot of time and you can see uh, so we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on both phones after that we have ultra frame rate on the Samsung while on the Vivo S60 Pro we also have an extreme option in the balanced HD HDR now let's open this edge and the search a little bit more faster on the X60 Pro no huge difference now let's see the scrolling very smooth on both phones 120Hz refresh rate and last time I launched in the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one again we have a 48 megapixel main camera which also has a gimbal optical image separation so faster exactly the same on both phones as you can see we also have ultra wide on both phones now let's see internet browser speed i am seeing the first samsung internet browser on the samsung while on the vivo s60 pro we have a google chrome now let's see wikipedia.org on both phones launching at the same time same wi-fi network as well faster on the vivo let's see the scrolling that is face very smooth on both phones open this english faster on the vivo again very smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever even on the a32 s 5g so that's really good thing next on the list is the apple.com and apple.com faster on the samsung as you can see so now let's see the scrolling again very smooth on both phones 120 hertz refresh rate makes everything more smoother there so now let's see the ram management on both phones now let's see that who is perform good in the ram management again we have 8 gp of we also have extended ram feature while on the vivo s60 pro we have 12 gp of ram so now let's see that who is perform good in the ram management let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings amazon shopping no refresh let's see candy crush saga again same result instagram let's see pin out let's see snapchat Let's see Spotify, Subway Surfer, and that card refresh on the Vivo S60 Pro. Let's see Tamper N2, refresh again on the X60 Pro. Now let's see Twitter, now let's see PUBG Mobile, no refresh, so that's very really interesting. Zedge, last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see, and guys over I have to say, Regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that and the Vivo S60 Pro is perform more faster as compared to the Samsung A32 S 5G in game app running time. I would say that in system based application of both phones is performed very similar in terms of the RAM advice and the Samsung Galaxy A32 S 5G is perform more better in the RAM management as compared to the Vivo S60 Pro. Uh, so we have in display fingerprint scanner which is a little more faster on the Vivo S60 Pro. Also on the Vivo S60 Pro we have 4200mAh battery size with 33W fast charging while on the Samsung we have 4500mAh battery size with 15W adapter in the box but the A32 S 5G also support 25W fast charging as well. So that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G versus the Vivo S60 Pro. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.